welcome back to my channel. So as you can tell from the title, today we are doing a new at the drugstore get ready with me video. These are my absolute favorite videos to film. I just love testing new releases at the drugstore. I think it's so fun finding the best of the best for the best price. If you follow me on Instagram, you might have seen that I recently crossed the border into Buffalo. I live just outside of Toronto, so Buffalo is pretty close to me and I hit up Target, CVS, Walgreens, and Walmart so I got every makeup product on my list lots of new stuff so yeah if you're interested in seeing what's good at the drugstore all the newest best of the drugstore then just keep on watching this is a little bit uncharacteristic of my videos because I love primer but I actually don't have a new face primer to test out today so I did just go ahead and moisturize my skin and we are going to forego primer I feel pretty hydrated I did a sheet mask earlier and my skin is pretty glowy so I think we're good to just go ahead and skip primer and go right into foundation so this is the foundation we are going to be testing out today I was sent a few products from Koki but I did purchase a few as well so I found this at maybe CVS I either got this at Walgreens or CVS I don't remember but this is the new Koki full coverage foundation the Koki HD foundation is probably one of my top three foundations drugstore high-end generally I think it is amazing we're gonna give this one a try I love that it claims to have more coverage on the back it says that it is a full coverage lightweight foundation that delivers seamless matte complexion that will last all day and I'm going to buff this in with the ultimate blending brush from elf and then I might also go in with the elf sponge if I feel like it we'll see what the finish is like what the heck it smells like it smells like candy or like something sweet. Very strange. I don't know how I feel about that. The other foundation from Koki definitely doesn't have that smell. It's looking really good. Um, the Taylor did a first impressions foundation Friday on this, and she absolutely loved it. And as I said, I love the original HD foundation from Koki, so my hopes are high for this for sure. This is how the skin is looking with just the full cover foundation applied. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. It's definitely more of a satin matte finish. There's no glow or dew here, especially because I didn't use a glowy primer underneath. I'm sure it would look gorgeous with a glowy primer underneath. Now I picked up a concealer that isn't new to the drugstore, but it is new to me. And this is the Flower Beauty Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. And I picked up mine in L1-2 Fair. We don't have Flower Beauty in our Walmarts in Canada, so that sucks. Not sure why we don't, but we don't. And I've heard so many amazing things about the Light Illusion Foundation and the Light Illusion Concealer. And really Flower Beauty in general, I know they get a lot of praise for their blushes, their highlighters, a lot of great stuff coming from Flower Beauty from what I've heard, but because I had so many other things that I wanted to try out, I decided to just pick up the concealer because this is the number one thing that I've heard people raving about. So I'm going to go ahead and conceal all of my blemishes, which isn't really super prominent because that foundation gave me amazing coverage and then I'm gonna go ahead and set my under eye, set, conceal my under eye as well with this concealer. Now that I have the concealer all applied on my face, I'm going to go ahead and bounce it in, blend it in with the e.l.f. sponge. I think it looks amazing under my eyes, but I'm not loving it on my spots. It's just mixing weirdly with the foundation. The foundation is definitely getting more and more dry. You can see even here, the concealer is just not blending great. So I am going to quickly reach for my Too Faced Born This Way because that's a great smoothing, hydrating concealer, and I'm going to go over some of these drier, rough patches, but I am really liking it under my eyes so far. After doing my concealer, I realized that I didn't have any powder and I needed to set my under eyes quickly, so I just grabbed my Maybelline Fit Me 
loose powder and then I set my face the rest of my face with the Maybelline Fit Me regular press powder and this is in 120 classic ivory now we are going to switch gears while my powder sets under my eyes and go into eyes I was so freaking excited when I saw this display I believe this was at Walgreens this is the Milani and trend mood eye kit if you like makeup at all and you're watching this video you probably know what trend mood is it is a Instagram account run by Sophie who is on the back here and she just updates all of the latest and greatest makeup news launches previews of stuff all that so she teamed up with Milani to I believe create her own face palette correct me if I'm wrong I'm not sure if this previously existed or if she just did like a favorites thing but this kit comes with the Gilded Desires Eye and Face Palette and the Milani eyeshadow primer neither of which I had tried before. I'm going to start off by priming our lids with the eyeshadow primer. I'm not usually a eyeshadow primer person slash ever. I don't even think I own any at the moment. I always just go in with concealer, but it came with the pack. I wouldn't have purchased this on its own. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not sure if you guys will be able to tell, but that eyeshadow primer looks really patchy and strange. We are going to move on and continue through this. I'm gonna start out with this nude-ish shade. This is called Naked Truth, I believe. This is just a gorgeous palette. I think it looks very high-end and luxe. So I just went in with this shade down here, Naked Truth, and now I'm going to take this shade, Crazy for Coco, this middle tone brown, into my crease. I have no plan for this look, but this shade looks really pretty. They look very pigmented, like all of the shades seem very pigmented. I haven't tried a ton of drugstore shadows. Um, I really like the Rimmel Magnifies shadow palettes, but other than that, I feel like I haven't really tried many drugstore shadows, so I don't have a great base knowledge of drugstore shadows to compare these against, but I guess compared to the Rimmel ones, right off the bat, they're definitely more pigmented. Now I'm going to go in with this deeper brown called Would You Join? me and I'm going to take that into my outer V. Like the pigment is there but for some reason I feel like they're not blending great. Like it seems a little patchy and then I'm just taking a clean fluffy brush and blending those edges. Now I'm going to go into this nice traditional gold here and this is called Just Bronzing Around and I'm going to take that pretty well all over the inner half of my lid. So far it is very like honey vibes for some reason so I'm gonna go with that and take this Desire for Gold, this like very golden shade, and just press that on the very center of my lid. I really like it. I think it is a very pretty look, very intense for the drugstore. For bronzer and contour, I was actually sent this palette from Koki, and this is their powder contour palette. Looks a little familiar. Looks very similar to the Kat Von D Shade and Light palette, which I've never actually used, but these bronzer contour shades look absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to make the lighter two with my big fluffy brush and just see how that goes. I do really enjoy that bronzer. It definitely gave me a nice faux tan look. I went very ham with it just because I was feeling very one-dimensional and pale. Love the pigment, love the blendability. I really like the tone. It's just a little bit matte for me. I like a more shimmery bronzer on top, but we can sort that out later. I do love the tone and the color so that is definitely the most important. Going to go back in with my Maybelline Fit Me and I'm going to carve out underneath my bronzer because I went very hard and very low with it which isn't what I like so we're going to carve this out and clean it up. Now that we are looking super intense and dramatic it is time to go in with highlight and this is definitely the category that I lucked out or kind of overwhelmingly lucked out on at the drugstore. I do have have like four different options for this category. First go in to this elf palette and try out this middle top shade in particular because the Taylor raved about this one. Let's get nice and glowy and I'm trying 
all these out with the Morphe R36 highlighting brush. That is really pretty. It looked very dry when I was picking it up and there wasn't a lot of kickback, but that looks super pretty. I wish I could try more of the colors in this palette, but I will be testing all of this new stuff all month and then I'll do a favorites video because I haven't done one of those in a long time. That shade looks absolutely gorgeous. This is the light version. There's also a darker version for you not in insanely pale girls but that one shade that I tried is super super pretty love that now we are going to go in with our second highlighter of the day and this is the Koki soft glow in gleaming this is super pretty it looks more like a soft touch highlighter kind of like the ColourPop formula so we will see how it applies with a brush that looks absolutely gorgeous I feel like I like the blendability and like the smoothness of the Koki one and the tone a little bit more than the e.l.f. one. Just looks really, really pretty. And I'm gonna go ahead with a Morphe M433. This is just like a fluffy brush. And I'm going to take a little bit of that and then use this as my brow bone highlight. Definitely a little bit glittery shimmery. So if you don't like any glitter, this does have some in it. Super, super freaking pretty. I love the texture, the finish, the tone, the price, everything. Now we have the Cody Airspun Loose base highlighter and again this is in snow much ice 100 i swatched this on the back of my hand and it was no joke oh my i know it's hard to tell because i already have so much highlighter on but this is just offensively glowy um i know some of you guys don't agree with the nose highlight cupid's bow highlight but i freaking love it especially when you're going like all out in the rest of your makeup that is insane i don't think any of these were a flop i think if you want something a little more light and natural but super pretty and you want a little bit of variety i would go with the elf one i think these kogi ones are gorgeous very similar to the color pop um and then the air spun loose powder is freaking like blinding yes it was layered with two other highlighters but i can just tell from swatching it and when i added it to my brow bone it just like popped so that one is intense now i don't have a drugstore new exciting blush to use and because the rest of my makeup is kind of intense i'm going to go in with tarte party because it is very neutral and subdued and pretty. So pop that onto the cheekbones to help better blend my highlighter, my insane amount of highlighter with my bronzer contour. I went ahead and touched up my eyebrows, wiped away the bake. I don't think you guys saw that. And then I went ahead and popped on some lashes. I have a new lip gloss to try out. This is the Maybelline collaboration with Summer McKean. I don't know who that is. Um, I don't know if I should. Um, I think it might be a Walmart exclusive collab. And this is in 010 Barefoot. I just thought this gloss color, like, light light baby pink nude was so pretty so i'm going to pair it with the ysl something rouge couture lipstick i know this is so not drugstore but i love this shade it is beige tribute number 10 and it just goes perfectly with this gloss when i saw the gloss i knew i wanted to pair it with this lipstick so i'm just gonna go ahead and put on this lipstick and now i'm going to go in with this gloss i'm super excited there was like four in the collection i believe and a lot of them are sold out but this is the one that caught my eye and i don't have too many maybelline glosses so i figured i would pick it up i absolutely love the color of this gloss um i think it's super super pretty i love the tiny bit of shimmer and sheen and it's really comfortable very pretty i've decided that i do want a little bit of something on the lower lash line so i'm going to go back into that mid-tone brown called crazy for coco and just put that onto the lower lash line to kind of bring the look together the more that i was looking in the viewfinder at that lip i was not obsessed with it and i feel like you couldn't really see the gloss shining through so i pulled colourpop scorpio moon i think this will go better with the eyes so i'm going to put this on instead now that we have a more contrasting lip color i'm going to go in to barefoot the maybelline gloss again so i definitely like that lip combo a little bit 
better. I'm not obsessed with it, but I really, really like the gloss. I'll just have to find a better lipstick pairing with it. So this is the final look. I'm not going to go over each item and my recommendations fully in detail because I feel like this video will be a long one. I've been filming sitting here for two hours now. It's actually been a while. I really, really liked everything for the most part. The one thing that I am not sold on, actually two things, the Kogi Bay foundation. I'm not sure if it's for me. I will try using a different primer with it, but it just feels very, very drying for my skin. And then with that and in combination with that, I'm not obsessed with the Flower Beauty Concealer. It seems a little dark and a little dry for me as well. Liked it under my eyes, but I absolutely did not like it as spot concealer. So I will keep playing with all those things. And again, as I mentioned, I will be using all of these things and playing with all of these things over the next couple weeks weeks and then I will do a roundup favorites video for October because I haven't done one in forever so I promise I will have that for you guys. I'm really really into the eyeshadow. I think it's super pretty. It's very glowy overall. I'd say the look is very glowy especially because we had like for highlighters to try out so I'm super excited to play with those highlighters get to know them better and find out figure out which ones are my favorites with that that is everything that I have for you guys today definitely give this video a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe thank you guys so so much for watching and as always I hope that you have or had an absolutely awesome day bye